Alrighty, folks. Here we are at the great halfway point of the event. Here at day number four for Charlotte Rollable. This is a track that I, don't know, I, I think I have sort of mixed feelings about. I have a little bit of a soft spot for it because this was the first track that I ever drove on iRacing. When I first signed up for iRacing back in 2020, Rookie MX5 was at this track. And I wanted to do road course racing before oval racing to try and teach myself better habits. And we've seen where that's gone. But this is a track that, you know, has a lot of memories for me because of it. At the same time, though, I'm also a little bit apprehensive because we saw how Laguna Seca went a couple days ago, and now we are here on a track that has two braking zones that are even heavier than the braking zone at Laguna Seca is. This is the first one here for the bus stop. And then there's the chicane right before the start finish line. Both of these are going to be most likely what gets me this race, if something does. Because I know what's going to happen is there's going to be someone right behind Green me flag. on my tail. And I am going to either send it too hard and blow the motor for downshifting too early, or I'm going to overdrive the corner. So the big name of the game for this one is just going to be uh, mostly not letting my nerves get to me and keeping the car on the track in those hairy situations where you just kind of want to <laughs> overdrive a corner to get away from a car that's a little bit too uncomfortably close to you. So we'll see what happens. Same deal as always. 12 minute race. Charlotte is quite possibly the longest track that we have been to so far for this event. I'd imagine this race is going to go by pretty darn quickly. The best lap that I've seen anyone post in any session that I've been in was a 138. So, decently long laps compared to some of the other tracks we've been to. But we'll see what happens. <clears throat> I am the number nine car, I believe. So another race where I'm at the tail end of the field with I rating. But just like some point last week, despite that, we still managed to walk away with the top five, so who knows what we will make happen here tonight. This is another race where I would have liked a little bit more practice for it before we came into one, it. Minute 43, but point unfortunately, two, one, nine. this is the last session for today. So I was pretty much either show up now or don't show up at all. I did practice a little bit. Just not as much I would have liked for a track as technical as this. But I'm keeping an open mind about this one. We can still potentially make something work here. Just gotta be patient. Not let ourselves get intimidated by any of the other drivers and drive the car. That's really the big thing, honestly. And something that doesn't get enough credit sometimes is, ultimately, you just gotta drive the car. If you can do that, you can you can win half the battle just like that. That's it, though. Not feeling like this is going to be a better lap compared to this our last one. Ooh, yeah, definitely not in that case. A little bit too hard on the wheel. So it looks like the 143.2 that we set earlier is going to be the time we end up qualifying with, and that's okay. It's better than uh, not setting a time 
like we did back at Laguna Seca, crashed out of qualifying. Generally, it's advisable not to do that. But sure enough, that time across the line, Check this time. 143.7, so not an improvement. We were doing pretty decently up until that mishap in the bus stop. But speaking of the bus stop, we might as well keep it going until the end of qualifying just to get a little bit extra seat time under our belts before the race goes live. The bus stop and the final corner are like the only two spots where I have any sort of concerns. So as long as I can keep those two down pat, we should be alright. Keyword being should be. I mean, all of this track is a little difficult. And dare I say, this is definitely one of the most difficult rovals on the platform. Just because, like, none of the other rovals that you really ever see have this much elevation change in the infield portion of the track. It's just not something you commonly see. And I think that's why Charlotte Roval is, like, such a big deal in the real world. And why it is so special compared to all the other rovals out there that NASCAR could, in theory, go to, but choose not to. Like, they do the Charlotte Roval for a reason. Sure enough, though, only three laps was enough to completely eat up our eight minutes of qualifying, so I'm willing to bet that this is going to only be a six-lap, maybe seven-lap race. That's out, though. Qualifying P5, only a ten-car split. So, our goals remain the same. Finish in the top five and go from there. I'd like to say hello to all of our sponsors. Thank you for all you do for us and all of your support. And a big thank you to all these fantastic fans that are here today. Packed house. It's great to see. Hello to everybody watching at home. Hope everybody enjoys the race. We're plenty good on fuel. You can run sure like enough. hell. Uh, yeah. I, mean, I do hope y'all enjoy the race too. So, there we go. Closed. You know that start is really cool when you're on the oval. On the roval, it's a little bit silly, honestly. Just my two cents. I mean, it would be really nice if you could do like what they do in NASCAR nowadays and make it so that on restarts and restarts, you don't take the last chicken. That would be really convenient. But I don't think that's something that would ever be implemented on iRacing. I just I don't think it's going to be worth the effort to come. But it would be really nice. Because i got to say, having the green flag fly in a heavy braking zone, generally not very ideal. But we'll do our best to make it work and go from there. I'd much rather someone run me over from behind than me run someone else over, though. That's the big thing, is I don't want to be that guy this race. And I know by acknowledging my concerns, I'm going to jinx it. But here we are. We're, we're committed to the bit. It's the last race of the day, so we've got to make it count. But hopefully you all are doing well. For those of you who have been able to tune into my Twitch channel lately, I have been playing a lot of From the Depths again lately, which is something that I've been meaning to do for a long time. I mean, I took like probably a two-year hiatus from it, but like, it's got me hooked again. It's been pretty much the only game I've been playing lately outside of participating in the Solstice Challenge for this week. It's just, it's given me the brain room. So that's the main thing I've been making content on over on Twitch. Right now, I don't really want to make YouTube content on it because what I've been doing isn't really anything like a super focused thing. Maybe lining up behind the five. That I think would be good for a video. But once I like finish what I've been doing on stream lately, I do definitely want to try and make some recorded content for From the Devs again. Because, I mean, it's a series 
that obviously people want to see. They've made it apparent every time I've played it, and then I just haven't followed through on it. So that's something I need to fix. Back in your seat there, man. Give that's it, though. Good it's Double time to focus up. Wheel, get a good look at your switches. Get ready to go here, buddy. And hope we don't watch right, the restart. Man, face cars off. Give mail. Green flag. Oh, what a terrible place to throw the green. But we are rolling. That's half the battle. The car is going in the right direction. We have survived right the side. hairpin. Clear if you need it. And down into turn number Other one. Side. Ooh, nice move by the yellow car. Don't know who that Still is. Still there. Clear. Let's let them get on by. And just generally try not to be the causer or the recipient of any turn one incidents. Eight car is a little bit slow out the corner, so we're gonna have to be careful with him there. But so far, so good. Really, the next test of our metal is going to be going through the bus stop here in just a second. <laughs> Which is going to be especially scary because I've never gone through the bus stop in the draft before. Left side. I'm going to pull up high and let this guy, if he wants Still to full send it, more power to him, buddy. Honestly. Still there. You do you. There by half. And he full sent it a little bit too much, which is what I was expecting. And we shift into neutral right when we were in the opportunity to overtake him. That's unfortunate. We could have made something happen there. But for now, we're just going to get back into the slipstream. And hopefully things will work. Going to lift a little bit here before we go into this corner because I don't know when this guy is going to be breaking. But all is good. All right. We survived lap one. We've lost a ton of positions. One, we have a lot of work to do eight, here eight, if we want to get back up to the front. Ten minutes to go. But we survived lap one, and sometimes that's the biggest part of the battle. Now we just need to settle into a rhythm and go from there. And not completely the overdrive right the corner like I'm doing right there. Still there. And clear. So far, so good. Let's see if we can't make this position back here in just a second. If we do, it's probably not going to be in the bus stop. Unless we try to go for something very daring, and I don't know how daring I'm feeling today. And we shift into neutral again. We have to stop doing that. Those little sleuth ups are single handedly like what is destroying me in some of these races. And we're back in neutral again. I think honestly what I need to do is just start consciously making a point of holding the clutch pedal for longer than I need to. Because that's what I'm doing is I push the clutch in and then I let go of the clutch before I actually shift gears. And that's just entirely what's doing me in. I mean, I'm also just completely overdriving some of these corners. Like, I, I don't deny that's an issue, too. But we just gotta roll with what we can do and clear things out from there. We're all clear behind, so the only thing we can do from here is go up, pretty much. 
lest we make a monumental oopsie, which is still on the table. At least that time we actually shifted up here, coming out of the bus stop. We got that going for us, at least. It's not much, but it's something. Already 2.4 seconds back from the car ahead, though. That's not something we could make up really easily. The car in P2 just set the fastest lap. 1 minute 37.463. 137.4. That's the best lap that I've ever seen. 1 minute 42.316. In that any the session, I've been in. But we are still getting faster ourselves, so that's something. Stay on your toes. Go to the right. Keep your eyes open. I could have been bad. Uh-oh. Well, there's a spot. I guess. Not exactly a position I made on my pure driving skill here. But a position nonetheless. That now finds us an entire five seconds back from the car ahead, though. He's going to need to make some pretty hefty mistakes for us to make that up. How are we doing on time? Five minutes, 40 seconds left. So, yeah, this is going to be a very quick race in terms of lap count. That was a little closer to the danger zone in downshifting than I would have liked. Let's try and not make that a habit. It's not even any faster anyway. We're still losing time to the cars ahead. The car in P2 just hit the fastest lap. One Dang. minute 37.456. These really are some serious lap times these people are setting. Five minutes to go. Sure enough, there's the five minutes minute to go. 42, 8, so 6, probably 7. three laps to go, if I had to guess. That's what I would think. Finally taking that corner properly. Only took half the race for me to do it. Prospects are not looking good for catching the rest of the field. And we're also in the wrong gear for that corner. We're just the making all sorts of mistakes tonight. One point one. And yeah, the spotter has a point. The car behind is very much gaining on You're me. You're losing on the car in front. The gap is 7.5. I am aware. Don't worry, Spotter. I, I know I am not doing the greatest this race. But thanks for letting me know. It's always good to have that information in the back of your mind. I'm not even going to try the and break the draft with this guy. One. Just hit the fastest lap. One. Minute 37. Point four. Five. Four. It's not Car worth it one. to taken the swerve all over the track like an idiot. Not a bad last corner, though. One. Minute 41. Point yeah, that's two, a new PB. That was your fastest lap of the second. I'll take it. It's still not a great lap but it's better than anything I've done before. Back the curb a little bit harder than I want to there, but that's okay because the guard behind me pushed too hard too and ended up in the grass. So that buys us a little bit of breathing room. And that little bit can go a long way. I say as I also nearly put it in the grass. But that's okay. <laughs> We're hanging on to this position. 
that's all we can really do at this point because there's no Still way we're making up tower, nine front. seconds. The gas is nine flat. Not a chance I'm making up nine seconds. And this guy's making up a whole lot of time on me through the, lead just did us one. the bus stop, which is not Point great. Seven, eight, two. But I'm hoping, I'm praying for white flag next time by. We may not be so fortunate, but that's really what I'm hoping for. Not quite so fortunate. One minute forty two point zero one seven. My chances of holding off the car behind for two more laps at a minimum is not great. Sending it hard in that corner. That was a slog. And overdrive in that corner again. Let's not bend it in the grass. Thank you. We're still good. Just barely, but we are still good. He's gonna overtake me here. I just I don't have the speed necessary to keep him behind me. Left Not side. a chance. Stay but hopefully right. we can at least keep Clear. with them and battle with them a little bit. That would be nice. And we shifted in the neutral. No! It's always the moments that we need to catch the gear the most that I miss shift. Which beats blowing our motor. For what it's worth. White flag this time. It's still not great. One minute forty three point seven two seven. Unless we get really lucky, though, that might be a little bit of GG. Attack the curb. And that did get us a little bit of ground on him. Not enough to be very significant, though. the wall. We're fine. Necessary sacrifice. That'll give us something to work on. You say that like I just got a meatball. I don't think we have a meatball, but they might that might have misaligned my wheel. And we shifted into neutral. Frighteningly in character. Get it rolling before this car comes around. You're losing on the car in front. The gap is 7.2. The car behind is closing on you. The gap is 3. Let's .5. try and finish ahead of P number 9. Man, I absolutely choked on that one. But. That's racing. That's how it goes sometimes. We finish the race He's moving. He's moving. without anything too significant in regards to incidents. So that's still something. We, we've got something going good for us. We've got experience, which is always good something job, important to have. Great track for us next week. Yeah, girls with blue feathers. I don't even want to know what my spotter's going on about right now. But regardless, we're going to flip back around again for the extra tiny little bit of safety rating. 
just because we can. And maybe to also try and make up for completely throwing the race in the bus stop. Because there really is no excuse for that. So I think I see how things are going to be going for the remainder of this event for me. What's going to happen here is on the odd numbered days, I'm going to have a really solid race. And then on the even numbered days, I'm just going to have the skill issue of the century and throw it away. Which actually is entirely possible because the two remaining odd numbered days are tracks that I feel very confident in. And the one even numbered day that is left is a track I have never driven before, which is VIR, VIR South. I, mean, I have only turned maybe two laps on VIR as a whole, but I've definitely never driven VIR South before. So, like, our last even day is the one day I'm a little bit apprehensive of, and our last even day might be the day where we keep this trend going. Who knows? But tomorrow is Lime Rock Park, and then the final day is at Tsukuba 2000, which are both tracks that I feel fine about. But for now, real quick, before we call it a day, let's take a quick look through at our instance for tonight's event. First ordeal on lap number one, overdrives turn three, and that's probably a broken left front. And he's still going to keep it in the right direction. Oh, well, yeah, that's a broken left front. There's not anything you can do about that. That would be what happened to the number 10 car. That explains why there was no 10 car on our relative at any point two car doing something that I'm surprised I didn't do this race little bit of trouble coming out of four and I think yep I got around him so that's the guy that we were battling with when we self spun and this is a battle for the lead and a three car just taps the wall the same way I did and I think this is the same incident again? Yeah, it is. But then there's a three car again, who is still back in position number two. So he's lost the race leader, and now he's just looking like he's a little bit flustered here. But then, hey, look, here's me. There's my tap against the wall. Almost identical looking damage to the one that P2 had. And then we just keep it going, and oh, it didn't count our spin as an incident. Fascinating. So let's go back to our last incident. This is not showing me my incidents, that's for sure. We might have to do this the old fashioned way. This is just jumping through every corner. That does not help me. My last one was eight laps, so. This should be the lap, I'm pretty sure. Unless it's the lap after. It's the lap after. But we're pushing. We try our best to catch up to this guy and full send it into the bus stop. And did not work quite as well as I'd hoped. But we can say we tried, and that's more than you can say sometimes. Very unfortunate. But, honestly, despite that, it was still a fun race. It was still a good learning experience. And now we just have to uh, carry what we've learned from tonight's event on into Lime Rock Park next tomorrow. And... Hopefully, things will go a little bit better there. For now, though, thank you all for stopping by. 
and I will see you all in the next video. Peace.